and the, today I'm going to talk about the history of Japanese neurosurgery. And uh, you know that I am a PhD in DDS. Do you know what the DDS is? Dental. Yeah, Doctor of Dental Surgery or Doctor of Dental Science. So this is a little weird. You know, <laughs> I'm talking about the neurosurgery, but I'm since I moved to Seattle, I'm very interested in the anatomy of neurosurgery or anatomy or neuroanatomy. So um, today I'm going to talk about the Japanese neurosurgery. Before my, before the I talk about the history, I want to say a uh, happy birthday to my mother. And the day before yesterday, and when I was, when I was in the airplane, the. May 21st was uh, my mother's birthday, so I didn't say happy birthday to her, but two days before I left, I gave her flowers to my mother. That was the first time for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's talk about the development of the Japanese neurosurgery. So around the 1950s, the leading cause of death turned infection to stroke. And also an increasing number of car accidents resulted in increasing number of traumatic brain injury. And these are main reason of the, the background of the development of Japanese neurosurgery. And we, now we have, in 2018, we have a two biggest uh, society for Japanese uh, neurosurgeon. And the one is the uh, Japan Neurosurgical Society, um, established in 1948. The other one is the Japanese Congress of Neurosurgical Surgeons, which was established in 1980. And the membership is more than 7,000. So in Japan, we have more than 7,000 board-certified Japanese neurosurgeons as of 2015, versus in the US, less than 4,000 practicing board-certified neurosurgeons as of 2012. So, but the, even in the in Japan, people said the 7,000 neurosurgeons are not good enough, not enough number. So, how about the U.S.? It's very small number, I think. So, um, this is our first history of the neurosurgical operation in Japan, which was uh, in 1877 and. Uh, uh, Dr. Sato operated a soldier who had a gunshot wound during the domestic war. The, in 1877, that was the uh, last domestic war in Japan, which is very famous war. And the, the patient had a gunshot wound and he uh, underwent a craniotomy. And in 10 days, the uh, patient has died because of uh, meningitis. And uh, that, that domestic war was uh, very, very famous in Japan, which is called the Seinan War. So let me talk about uh, this, uh, this uh, Mr. Saigo. Mr. Saigo is uh, one of the most famous last summer in Japan. So this is uh, in 1868, Japan changed, uh, you know, Japan has a big change from samurai period to modern period. So after the, it, it, it was called Meiji Restoration. So the, before the 1868, the emperor had no power, no control about the, you know, the politics or some uh, you know, wall. But the, after Meiji Restoration, the power was you know, returned to emperor. And he was working on the Meiji Restoration. And he is the last samurai in Japan. And like this, uh, this, this was in. I googled this morning, and the uh, last. Yeah, <laughs> he, yeah, kind of. <laughs> so, um, so probably most, probably ninety-nine percent of the Japanese people know the, this. Oh, sorry. Oh, 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 no, this uh, Mr. Saigo, he's very famous, and the. In 2018, this year we have a uh, Japan. In Japan, we have a uh, um, very popular uh, TV series, which was which is about uh, Mr. Saigo. And the so Seinan Se Seinan War was taking place in this uh, Kyushu area. So this is a Japanese map. Tokyo is here. 
Kyushu is here, and the Seinan Seso was taking place here. So that was the first uh, Japanese neurosurgery, and but that was unsuccessful. Patient died, but this is the first successful um, Japanese neurosurgery. The first surgeon extirpated two more in Japan. Dr. Miya, Miyake, who is a former assistant of Dr. Sato, who operated, who performed the first neurosurgery in Japan. In 1905, 1908, he done the brain tumor resection and spinal cord tumor. And he's also a good friend of uh, Dr. Albert Einstein and his wife. When he went to the European country and came back to Japan, he was on board with uh, Dr. Einstein. And uh, when the Dr. Einstein got the sick, he gave him he gave Dr. Uh, uh, Einstein the, some uh, medication and became better. And since then, these two guys are good friends. And in the early 20th century, very, very a few general, uh, general surgeon, especially the professor of the general surgery department, have performed the neurosurgery. Only a general surgeon performed the neurosurgery. We had no uh, neurosurgeons at that time. Keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Okay, so um, this guy on the right side, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Sano, do you know Dr. Sano? Okay, so he is the first chair of the Japanese University, and he was working in Tokyo University. And uh, doctors, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Sano studied the neurosurgery and the neuropathology at University of California in 1951 to 1952. And when he came back to Japan, he created four different studying group. Uh, one is a neurophysiological stero stereotactic surgery and head trauma and cerebral vascular surgery and neuro-oncology. So that was the first history of the Department of Neurosurgery in Japan. Probably most of you know the Dr. Fukushima who is still working in the US. Actually, the, he is a former professor of the Dr. Fukushima. When, he, when Dr. Fukushima was uh, 70, uh, sorry, 37 years old, uh, Dr. Sano uh, let him uh, move to the other big hospital, which is called the Mitsui Kinen Hospital, uh, which is one of the most famous uh, private hospital in Japan. Um, so, he is a guy who started the neurosurgery, the officially started the neurosurgery in Japan. And the, when we talk about the Japanese neurosurgery, we can never forget about uh, Dr. Rotten. Dr. Rotten's influence on Japanese neurosurgery. So this paper is uh, entitled a, uh, Rotten and Rotten's influence, his influence of the Japanese neurosurgery. They are all Rotten's fellow. So is he having fellows? Yeah, from Japan, 37 to 39 fellows from Japan each year. And in total, almost 40, 40 fellows from Japan. And so why Japanese neurosurgeon came to Rotten's lab, University of Florida? Because uh, some papers says the Japanese neurosurgeon had a strong and urgent desire to perform their surgery accurately and safely. But this is the same as you know other other neurosurgeon, not only Japanese. And the, also the other reason is uh, strict limitation the use of cadaveric specimen for study. This is a big uh, issue. And actually, for study for research, we can use cadaveric specimen even in Japan. But the, for training, for surgical training, we can never use. Uh, cadaveric specimen in Japan. There is a very, very strict law. So most of the Japanese neurosurgeon or Japanese surgeon and Japanese dentist, Japanese oral surgeon, have to come to the US or other countries to, be, to get train, training. And the, a small number of operative cases experienced by any single surgeon. So I think this strict limitation is a 
most uh, difficult problem to deal with. And the, these are the, all the fellows of Rotons. Um, so Rotons, the first Japanese fellow was uh, Dr. Saeki, um, who uh, wrote some paper about the perforating artery from the basal artery in 1977. And the, when the Dr. Rotons fellow came back to Japan, they thought they have to have some uh, association or society to train the young neurosurgeons. So they established the Japanese Society for Microsurgical Anatomy. And this was taking place in Fukuoka area. <clears throat> um, does anyone know Kyushu University? Kyushu is, uh, which I mentioned before, this is Kyushu Island. Kyushu University is uh, one of the biggest uh, university in Japan. So this is called Kyushu. Kyushu University is in Fukuoka. And my crewmate university is here, so competition. <laughs> and Dr. Rotten visited Japan for several times. Um, so this picture is uh, after marathon. This is a restaurant, this is a hot spring, this is a pushing up. <laughs> so this is a picture taking place take, taken in Kyoto. Has anyone, anybody been to Kyoto before? Been to Golden Temple? Uh, yeah, this is a very beautiful you know, temple, which is called the Golden Temple. So Golden Temple is in Kyoto here. And this is a castle. This is called Matsumoto Castle, which is located in Nagano Prefecture. Probably some of you know Nagano, which was uh, where, is, where the Olympic game, Nagano Olympic game was taking place in Nagano. So Matsumoto is the second largest city in Nagano Prefecture. And also Ureshino is uh, very, very famous for hot spring. So Rotom went visited the hot spring hotel here. And, this is a funny story. The Dr. Rotten always doing uh, pushing up every day, every day, and he, he often forced the fellows to do the pushing up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this was in Saga, Saga City. Saga City is famous for International Badum Festival, which is the biggest fest Badum festival in the Asian countries. Actually, this why why you know I highlighted the Saga because this is where I grew up. So this is my elementary school, Nabishima Elementary School. This is a Kogakan Junior High and High School. And this is a boarding school. So um, I was very impressed when I, wrote, when, I, you know, when I read the paper about the Rotom and the Rotom visited the Saga. Wow, I didn't know that, but before I was born. <laughs> oh, no, when I was probably five or six years old, maybe I was born, and OK. Anyway, the first training course, I, I don't know exactly what they did, but they, some mentioned the first training course in Japan was held at Osaka City and the Kobe University in 1993. But the, you know, as I mentioned before, the Japan has a very strict law, so I don't know what, he, what they did. Um, but some of the fellow, many of the Japanese Rotom fellow visited the University of Florida again and uh, took some video and they wrote some book for teaching. And some may say, you know, the Rock, the, Dr. Rotom is very famous for his uh, book and his research, but uh, some said the uh, research on microsurgical anatomy is complete. It's already done, but it, this is my opinion. I'm not done yet. <laughs> no. And the, I believe that Dr. Tubbs also agree. <laughs> we are always doing your anatomy research. <laughs> and with the appearance of new, sur new surgical treatment and uh, with the development of the surgical technology, anatomical research must be you know, um, done for support these uh, technology and new treatment. And this is uh, from this Rotten's book. There is no finish line for anatomy research, and the insights gained from the other medical sciences and new technology, when combined with our increasing knowledge of microsurgical anatomy, will create new surgical possibilities. 
and therapies and cures. I like this phrase. And what is the future of the Japanese neurosurgery is? Training, surgical training using, using cadaveric specimens and the anatomical research using cadaveric specimens. So I suggest Japanese neurosurgeon should collaborate with the SSF and SNI to get some training in the future. Thank you so much. Okay.